This is White Wolf on Atzigan here in Vermont with Ways of the Wild Institute. And uh, what I want to do here today is uh, take a, a short amount of time to describe um, what I call the, uh, the ladder coil. Okay? It's uh, another way of coiling rope uh, or any type of cordage that you might have. Um, really, the traditional method that most people see, take my gloves off here, is just a simple uh, arm coil, right? Wrapped around the center. That's pretty much the method that most people see. But what I don't like about this method, no matter what type of rope you're using, is that when you uncoil it and you throw it out there, okay, the rope does a magical thing of tying itself in knots. Right? Especially depending on the, the type of cordage that you uh, that you have at the time, the type of material that the uh, rope is made from. And that really annoys me. Uh, you know, I just it's a little pet peeve when I coil up a rope and then I unravel it and I throw it out. I don't want it to be tied in knots that I have to go and untie so that I can use the thing. Um, so there's another way that. Uh, you can coil your rope and I'll show you how to do that here it's pretty easy and it works uh, really well especially if you're using uh, uh, a type of cordage that has a tendency to get stiff in the cold weather now I'm using this nice uh, contrast rope here so that you can uh, see. It's a nice thick one. What you do is you take your two ends and you bring them together. Okay? And what I like to do is tie those two ends together in your simple knot. And then I rub my hand up all the way to the other end. And then what this does, obviously, is make sure that my rope is folded evenly in half. So here's the other end. Now this is where it starts. What I do is I take, and you know, some of you, uh, actually many of you may have seen this before um, elsewhere. Um, it's not as common as the, uh, you know, the shoulder coil, but uh, there are people out there who do uh, use this. So you take your, uh, your looped end, or you can start with the other end if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And you loop it just like that, all right? And then you take your long end, see here's the, uh, the end of my rope that's doubled, then you take your long end here and you push it up through this hole that you just made. And then again, you run your hand down the long end. And notice that I kept my finger right here. So when this loop came through, I caught it with this hand. And then this hand just slides down and pushes my rope again through that coil. And then again, my hand slid down and I push my next loop through that loop. And I just repeat that process. all the way until I get to the other end of my rope where I tied it in a knot. 
Now my hand is still through this last loop. So what I do with the end of my rope is I go ahead and I put it through all the way. That last loop. And you'll see how basically it makes an overhand knot. I tuck under. And I tie it off. See, now that is a sealed end right there. It's not going to unravel itself. And what I did is I made a chain or a ladder. My rope all the way to the other end, which is where I started. In this end, I'm going to do the same thing as I did the other one. I'm going to take my very end. I'm going to tie it in an overhand knot, therefore sealing this end of the rope as well. So what I end up having is this coil of rope. Okay, this is a hundred foot of rope right here. Coils up into this. Now if I wanted to make this shorter, I could double my rope up again. Okay. So after I fold the rope in half, I'll take those two ends and I fold it together again. All right, and then I coil it that way. That would give me a coil that would be even shorter. Well, it would be less than half of this. Now you look at that and you say, well, how is this better than your regular arm coil, right? How is this not gonna tie itself in a knot? It is a knot. <laughs> and how the heck am I gonna get this undone? Well, that's the neat part about this, okay? Watch this. If I go back here and I untie those overhand knots that I made, okay, so I untied this one, and I'll go all the way back to this end, and I will untie this overhand knot, pull it out. Now, all I have to do to uncoil this is to take my end that I ended with and I just pull it and it completely uncoils itself and there is no knots left in my rope except for the one I tied at the very end to hold it together. So that's it. That's the ladder coil, okay? It's a good way to coil up your rope. That's easy, fast, and you can undo it very easily. And there's no knots and binds in your rope that you have to get out before you can actually use your rope or cordage. You can do this with any size rope. You can do this with the tiny little cordage that you make out here. Uh, from some inner bark of, um, um, you know, plants, or you can do it with store-made rope. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what the rope is made of, okay? It works the same with all rope. Um, now, a rope this big, a 100-foot rope like this, that coil that I just made, I could easily wrap that around and tie it off you know, and wear it around my waist, you know, if I need to, if I'm going out and I need the cordage and I know it. Uh, if you're using smaller cordage, you know, uh, again, you can uh, wrap it around your wrist or your arm, okay? Um, <clears throat> you can wrap it around the handle of your knife, uh, whatever you happen to have. And then when you're ready to use it, just untie those two end knots and pull it. And it just comes right undone, just like that. So again, real quick, I tie my two ends together. Run my hand all the way up to the other end of the rope. And from here, I make my first loop. Pull it through. And just continue pulling it through.
I get to the end, tie that off in a knot. Go to the other end of my rope and tie that off in a knot and I'm done. That's it. Simple as that. And one more time to get it undone. I untie the overhand knot on both ends. this and all I do is start to pull the whole thing falls apart and I've got my rope that's how you make the uh, the ladder coil okay very quick very easy make sure you tie it right because if you don't tie it right you will actually be tying the entire rope in a knot that you have to untie each coil, okay? So again, um, you know, check after about three times that you pull through that you can just pull it right undone. If you do, if you can, then obviously you're doing it right. But if you can't and you actually have to untie it, then you're putting it through the wrong hole, all right? Go back to the beginning of the video and watch again how I'm putting it through there. So um, that's it. Simple rope coil works much better I find than the uh, the shoulder wrap uh, that is very common again ties in knots binds um, twists up it's just a I don't know I don't find it a very practical um, method for coiling rope uh, and cordage when you're out here um, in wilderness living and wilderness survival situations uh, but again that's just my opinion my preference um, this may be something that you uh, enjoy Maybe something that works for you, maybe not. Either way, just a little uh, fun video for you, a little instructional uh, rope uh, work, and that's about it. Uh, check out our website, waysofthewildinstitute.com. Uh, we've got a lot of great uh, workshops and courses coming up this year, 2012. Hope to see you at some point here in the Vermont mountains. All right, take care. Willem Mollison, be well and happy.